Hi, my name is Jason Arbin, and I'm just an old fuddy daddy complaining that testers don't test anymore. So when I got out of school, it was the last, last actually last month of school, uh, college, I was working with uh, Lockheed Martin. And they send satellites into space, right, and probes into into deep space. I think, and um, uh, and there was this <clears throat> this device we were supposed to make as students that uh, for Lockheed Martin they were going to use in these satellites, which was called a Reed Solomon encoder. The details don't matter, but the idea is if you send a message into space, um, sometimes bits are lost just in communication. It can take you know minutes and minutes to send a single ping out to a, a space probe. So what happens is on the other end, if any of those bits were messed up in transmission, if you encode it this way, you can reconstruct the bits on the other end. It's pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> um, so it can fix up the message if it was if it was broken just a little bit. But the concern I had was we wrapped up the project, um, sent out to Lockheed Martin. All of a sudden, I realized this is when I realized I was a tester. I feared this thing breaking in production. I feared satellites getting the wrong message and, and veering <laughs> veering off to different planets or into asteroids or something. Um, so I spent like a week, a week, two weeks just testing the crap out of it. What that meant was I was generating thousands of test inputs and, and verifying it still worked. It actually all worked, right? I didn't ever find a bug in it. Uh, it, was, it was good. But I couldn't rest until I had verified this um, at some scale. Long after we even sent it to Lockheed Martin and declared the project done. So this is testing, right? We were verifying it with a couple inputs and some edge cases. It kind of worked like it was kind of working. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't able to sleep until I'd, I'd passed thousands and thousands of different messages into the system. So that was testing. Next project I worked on uh, was um, this Windows CE set top box. Um, and the idea is that this goes into people's homes. And if it breaks, uh, and it's unrecoverable, you have to send a service person out there, right? Which is super expensive. So the first thing I did was not test the software, you know, the, the video stack or any of that kind of stuff. What I was doing was continually powering off the box. The first thing I did was just write some automation that would bring the box up and verify that it was loaded and then restart it and do it again, over and over again until I would until it would catch a crash. And after hundreds or thousands of these, these resets, guess what? Bing, we got some... There were some timing issues in the boot up sequences, and we'd get an unrecoverable error. So it persists and stayed out, so it could never boot again. We had to reflash the devices, right? That was an awesome bug, and I was testing, right? I wasn't just making sure the set top box worked and I can, you know, watch cartoons on it. I was making sure that it, it would, the kernel boot up sequence uh, was stable. Uh, and that's testing, right? That doesn't happen very often, but if, if one, anything, if one in a thousand boots of this device in production, uh, were unrecoverable, you have a massive problem on your head.